Once Upon a Page. Today we're going to take a minute to talk about how being authors has changed us as readers. And uh, so to open up the discussion, I'll turn it over to you two. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting question. So, I mean, I've always been a big, big reader, reader mm -hmm. and I'm I'm raising a reader right now. She checks out six, seven books from the library. <laughs> She's done in three days with all of them. <laughs> and and so it's like it's what we do. We just read, but since I'm not sure it's so much as since we started, I started writing as since I've started having good editors. <laughs> I think it makes you more aware of, of things that other people didn't have caught in their mm -hmm. own stories. Mm -hmm. Like those, those nitpicky little things that all of your editors go, mm -hmm. Oh, you need to fix this. Oh, you need to change that. Mm -hmm. And you get told that so many times mm -hmm. that it just gets mm -hmm. in your head yeah. and then you start noticing it in every other story you read. And it either makes you think, oh, they need a better editor or it makes you think, well, maybe it's not that big of a deal after all. <laughs> <laughs> I've had both. I've had both situations. Yes. yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My interest is probably more sad because I can't read for fun hardly at all anymore. Aww. That is sad. It is really sad. So sad. Um, I guess because I do so much editing and I'm also an acquisitions editor, so I'm nitpicking, like you said, mm -hmm. and looking for the best of the best. And so when I am reading, when I sit down to actually read to relax, I'm like, oh, no, you know, and I just I can't seem to turn that off. But if a book makes me turn that off mm -hmm. i am like a fan mm -hmm. for life mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i mean yeah and so like if a book can mm -hmm. make me turn off the you know the inner editor then that is great because i just can't do it anymore i wish i could go back sometimes to when yeah i was young and i just just consumed so much written word you know where mm -hmm. it was fun and mm -hmm. i just loved it because it was a, a story you know i think for me it's a little different i I know we always talk about, oh, now I see all the editing errors. Mm -hmm. I see all that. And you just see them more. Mm -hmm. um, I always read that way. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of those things that, I mean, like one of my favorite books growing up with the, was a series by Linda Chaikin. And in one, she sets up that there's this doll. And then the next one, it's like they drop the vase that, and I'm like, where's the doll? There was no vase. There was a doll. Why is there yeah. a doll, you know? And this is like a book that came out a year later to be able to, you know, go back. Mm -hmm. And so I think I've always noticed those things. Um, I think for me, and I do notice them more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for me, maybe it's made me more sensitive to reading books that aren't as well done. Um, I want to be the best writer I can be. Mm -hmm. And so if I am reading books that I don't feel are up to par, I'm afraid that what I write is not going to be as up to par. Mm -hmm. I want to read books that after I read them push me to be a better writer to push me to be at the level of, wow, that I... That you could, that somebody else would yeah, have their yeah, editor brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when, mm -hmm. when somebody else wrote that book that just makes me go, this is amazing, everybody needs to read this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to write that for yeah. somebody else. For sure. Yeah. You know? yeah. I will say, in the, in the last few years, I've also made a more concerted effort to read more in the genre that I write. Because these two know I love my mm -hmm. historical fiction. Mm -hmm. Like, I love to read historical. Um, but I've always read different things. Like, I read contemporary. I read historical. Mm -hmm. I read women's fiction. I read fantasy sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, every now and then I'll pick up a mystery. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. But I'll, you know, every now and then I will. Um, but... Everybody tells you if you want to become a better writer, mm -hmm. go read the authors mm -hmm. that are like the bestsellers 
the ones winning the awards, all this stuff in your genre. Mm -hmm. See what they're doing and then do it in your books. So do you agree with that? Do you, do you try to read more in your own genre so that you can get better at it? Or do you think that that's not true? I think it helps to have thing, elements of all of it. I mean, yes, mm -hmm. you do want, mm -hmm. there's a very different pacing with a historical. Oh, there's yeah. a very different pacing with fantasy. There's, you know, there's all of those things, but there are, even in contemporary, say I went just contemporary, there's a different pacing in a cozy mystery mm -hmm. or a suspense. Mm -hmm. There are things I can glean from those mm -hmm. to help my writing. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say there's mm -hmm. something in every genre that can stretch mm -hmm. you to be a better writer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I still you read, know. like I still mm -hmm. read a ton in other genres too, but I I try to read several mm -hmm. contemporaries right. every month just and because I'm trying to get to know some of the authors that like I'm right. with in Inspi Romance, because we're all in the group together. I want to support them just mm -hmm. like I want them to support me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another way that I've changed. Mm -hmm. it, it changes you just a little bit to actually know the authors that you're reading. Because mm -hmm. I think you go in with higher expectations almost, you know? Well, and the thing that I had a little, I don't quite agree with. Yes, I, I understand that going to your best sellers, mm -hmm. that going to your award winners, things like that, should mean that yes. this is a better quality mm -hmm. book. But it isn't always. But it isn't. Always, there yeah. have been some New York Times best-selling books that I picked up and go, if I ever write like that, I'm stopping. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And these are best sellers. Mm -hmm. So if being a bestseller means I have to write like that, I don't want to <laughs> yeah. be a bestseller. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I don't want to change who I am and the quality of my writing just to say I sold a million copies. My publisher might like that. And I'm sorry, Linda, but <laughs> um, I would much rather know that what I put out was a good quality oh, yeah. book rather yeah. than just feeding the masses what they want to have. Yes. And, well, I and, think, I think too, you know. that as long as with each book that you do, that you are improving, mm -hmm. I think that's all you can, I mean, I think that's mm -hmm. the best, that's mm -hmm. like the best thing that you can do is to strive to always do better than you did before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I do find I read and leave a lot more reviews now. That is one way it's changed me as a reader. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more conscious of taking the time to go leave a review. Um, I'm a little more conscious in the way I review. If it's a book that I didn't really enjoy all that much, I'm gonna find what I can that's positive about oh, yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm gonna lie to, you know, make right. people believe that this is the best book ever. I will say what I had trouble, I had trouble connecting with this. Maybe it was because of this, but I, I really couldn't get into this aspect. Mm -hmm. But they did this mm -hmm. really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it has changed me as a reader in that, that respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also makes me like understand more why some people leave certain reviews too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reviews are hard. Yes, they are. <laughs> we could do a whole video on reviews. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> as we all have that moment of dread. Uh, yes, we're, we're all thinking. We're about all that thinking review. about that one review that we wish. Moving we... on to happier things. <laughs> author we'd love to hear from you hear how being an author has changed you as a reader has it made you a better reader or has it sort of ruined some aspects for you um as a reader you know we're just glad you're here and <laughs> we would love for you to check out our books follow our youtube channel like our page like our videos share it with a friend and we'll see you next time bye, bye.